Senator Green, you're recognized for a motion on House Bill 20. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I move that House Committee Substitute for House Bill Number 20 with Senate Committee Substitute be taken up for third reading and final passage. On Friday, May 5th, members of the Missouri General Assembly truly agreed to and finally passed the series of bills that make up the state's operating budget for the 2024 fiscal year. Totaling nearly $49 billion, the operating budget for 2024 appropriates vital funding to the state's agencies and departments. Education, as always, was a major area of emphasis during deliberations. In addition to fully funding school transportation, lawmakers approved $55 million to expand school-based pre-kindergarten programs, along with $29 million to create a baseline teacher salary of $38,000. One senator feels these funds will help not only students, but parents as well. I do think it's worth highlighting there is a lot of really good stuff for kids in this bill, including... Um, increased funding for child care so that we know uh, there will be more options, safe options available for parents. Another highlight of the legislature's budget is $2.8 billion to widen Interstate 70 across Missouri to a minimum of three lanes in each direction, helping improve both safety and the flow of traffic for Missouri residents. The Senate Appropriations Chair believes the structure of the budget for the upcoming fiscal year should make a tangible difference in the lives of Missourians. In, in my opinion, you see the things that Missouri families are talking about around their kitchen table over dinner in this budget. Infrastructure, education, workforce development, uh, the things that in the long term return value to the state. With the budget now sent to the governor's desk, lawmakers will turn their focus to the final week of the 2023 regular session. The Senate's President Pro Tem believes there's still work to be done in the session's final days. A lot of the big, big boxes have been checked on our side. There's still some, uh, some stuff that we want to accomplish, but like I said, I think it'll feel about as normal as it, it, it can. Visit senate.mo.gov to view more budget details or to track legislative proposal progress as we approach the deadline. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm John Pattison.